Hey friends, Alvin here. It is the month of May. It is sunny and it is beautiful. And this is your May snapshot. Well, for your high school grads, they've only got a few more weeks left until they are done high school. Yay! And so as they are figuring out where God is taking them in their next chapter of life, we, at, we hope that you're continuing the journey with them. For some of them, they already know where they're going, uh, or at least they have an idea of where they'd like to go. And they're waiting for those acceptance letters. And so if you already have an idea of where they're heading to, help them connect to their next faith community. You can do that through our T101 pro collaboration uh, alongside with Power to Change, InterVarsity, Ambassadors for Christ, and the Navigators. You can find all that information at t101.ca. So whether they're doing a campus visit in the next few weeks and you want someone to meet them there, uh, to personally meet with them, whether it's connecting them digitally uh, online, we you can find out all that information there as well. One of the opportunities we get to do on June the 5th is that we are hosting an online panel discussion with some upper year students. And so your high school grads can send in their questions. They can send it in beforehand or they can send it in on that day of. All the information is going to be at t101.ca, but it's an opportunity for them to ask some of the questions that they, ha that they have about what it means to go into university this coming September. Did you know that we have a $500 scholarship available for undergrad students? This year we get to offer eight of them. And so if you have someone, so whether it's a high school grad about to step into university or someone else in an undergrad program, doesn't have to be university specific. It could, you can find out all the information at cboq.ca slash scholarship. Applications are due on June 30th. There are a couple of ongoing professional development programs we want to make sure that you know about. The first one that we want to tell you about is a Youth Ministry Certificate Training Program. This is an 18-month training uh, that Matt and I will be walking alongside you and a cohort of other students. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to, shape, to sharpen uh, your understanding of youth culture, ways to work alongside uh, people within your church as well as with parents and youth, and by the end, you'll have your own youth ministry handbook that will help guide you in your oncoming years about youth ministry. And so that cohort application is available until June 30th. You can find out more at cboq.ca slash youthmincert. The next one we want to tell you about is Horizons. This is an online youth ministry training program hosted by Baptist World Alliance. And what this does is that it gives you a baseline of youth ministry understanding. It walks through some different aspects of youth culture, adolescent development, and also some specifics that deal with youth ministry structure and programming. And so this is a 24 lesson module that you get to walk through a mentor, that's me, with you at, a, at your own pace. And so you can find out more information about that at cboq.ca slash horizons. Our annual family gathering called Assembly is coming up June 9 to 11th. This year it's being hosted at Scarborough Chinese Baptist Church. And so there's a bunch of things that we look forward to having you there for. One of them is our plenary sessions. This is a time for us to gather together, to worship together, to learn together. And these are actually free, whether you come, uh, whether you come to Scarborough Chinese directly or you want to join us online. Uh, we would love to see you there for that. Also, so there are some learning sessions available on that Saturday morning for you to learn from. Uh, there are five that are going to be presented on site, and there's a bunch that you'll be you'll have access to the on demand. And so take advantage of that by registering. And as usual, we have our late night gathering for youth leaders. And so whether you're registered for assembly or you're just in the area on that Thursday, June the 9th in the evening, we would love to see you there. You can contact me for more information about that. And as part of assembly is our AGM on the Friday, June the 10th. And so that's an opportunity for us to celebrate the things that God has has done in our midst. It's also an opportunity for us to see what are the ways that we can work together best as a church family. All this information is available at baptist.ca slash assembly, including a way to register online. By the way, depending on when you're seeing this, if you are if you see it before May 8th, that is the deadline for the early bird. And so hopefully we get to see you at assembly this June. We're already starting our planning for our next ministry season. In fact, we already have our theme developed and our theme is, actually, we're gonna show you at assembly. And so we get to reveal it all there. Already, we started planning for Avalanche and Blizzard. Avalanche, which was, we're expecting to happen on January the 20th to the 22nd, and Blizzard on February 8th to 10th next year, uh, hopefully at Muskoka Woods. That's our intention. And so we're looking to, to release our registration and promotion package at Assembly this coming year. You know, after Easter, May is a time for us to remember 
uh, the new life that God provides for us, the new life that is available through Jesus. And so a couple of things that we want to remind you of. First of all, as you are beginning to close out your ministry year this season, uh, we pray that you will finish strong. We pray that it will be that there will be moments of celebration and moments of reflection, uh, moments for your youth, especially for those who are about to graduate to to have a sense of closure. But also, we hope that you're starting to plan for what next year might look like as well. Sure, there are things that are up in the year, things that maybe you're not completely sure about yet. But at the same time, we hope that you're making you're starting to put in some plans in place. You're starting to get an idea and prayerfully discern what the next steps look like for your next ministry year. And if there are ways that we can be helping you with that, definitely contact us and we'll be more than happy to come alongside you. In the meantime, blessings to you as you continue to bring the person and message of Jesus to the youth, both in your church, in your community, and beyond.